It's officially July and that means it's the start of Pride celebrations in San Diego. Yesterday, San Diego Pride began the month posting this throwback photo of the moment in history when San Diego became the first Pride parade to have U.S. service members march in uniform. This was back in 2012, nearly one year after the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. The couple in it celebrated with a proposal. News 8's Tim Blodgett spoke with the Pride organizer today on what we can expect in 2021. This was University Avenue in July of 2019. Seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? It was the last time that San Diegans were able to celebrate Pride together on the streets of Hillcrest. After a devastating pandemic, Pride is back, and it might look a little different than years past. I think what most folks remember about San Diego Pride is the giant parade and the enormous two-day festival. And that simply just wasn't possible with the ever-changing health guidelines. So this year, over 30 days, we're doing about 40-some different events all over San Diego County. There's the two-day block party, again, in the heart of Hillcrest. That one's about Friday and Saturday. Um, and then just in Barrio Logan, in Convoy, in North County, in North Park, in East County, in <laughs> The biggest change this year is the parade. It takes hundreds of volunteers to put on the spectacle that is the San Diego Pride Parade. And this year, Fernando says that people will take to the streets and march as a call to action. LGBT Americans still do not have full and equal protection under the law. We're all coming together as one community to say it is time for equal rights, it is time for justice. It might be in June for the rest of the country, but San Diego Pride gets July. And after a year in the making, a celebration of love, respect, and unity is back in the streets. We are a 365 organization bringing people together. And we finally get to come together, make eye contact, hug, hold hands in daylight. And I'm just so thrilled that we're finally here. Tim Blodgett, News 8.